I will have no more than 50 ministers. Welcome to today's edition of News by Tongana Talks Radio. I am Deborah Adolso. Here are some trading headlines. Baumia to offer incentives for teachers and health workers to buy one vehicle each. Baumia pledges to set limits on ministers' appointees, highlight cost cutting with leasing strategy. Labor Ministry to hold crisis talk with striking CTAG leaders to resolve nationwide shutdown. Here are some details. Responsibility in the provision and management of critical infrastructures, including building hostels, housing and schools for government to rent or lease to own. The demand for roads construction is massive and this has historically placed a huge burden on the budget. I will make it more attractive for the private sector to also finance construction, management, and maintenance of roads through PPP concessions. Presidential candidate for the New Patriotic Party, Dr. Mahamud Baumia, has promised to provide incentives for teachers and health workers to purchase one vehicle each if the party is re-elected in the upcoming election. Speaking at the MPP's manifesto launch in Takradi on Sunday 18th August 2024, Dr. Mahamudu Baumia outlined several initiatives the party plans to implement for health care and education if given the opportunity. He assured Ghanaians the party remains committed to protecting and enhancing free SHS and TVET, which has boosted enrollment. Away from that, flag bearer of the governing new patriotic party, Dr. Mahamud Baumia, has vowed to reduce ministerial appointments if elected as president. He made the revelation during the MPP's manifesto launch where he emphasized the importance of efficient governance. In addition, he unveiled plans to shift from absolute purchases to leasing essential goods to save government essential amount of money annually. system of governance will require even fewer ministers. Therefore, I will have no more than 50 ministers. And to our final story, the Ministry of Labor and Employment Relations through the Fair Wages has scheduled a crucial meeting with the leadership of the Colleges of Education, Teachers and Association Ghana, CTAG, and other key stakeholders today, Monday, August 19th. The meeting aims to address the pressing concerns of CTAG members who have been on a nationwide strike for two months, leading to a complete halt in academic activities at 46 colleges in the country. Stakeholders expected to attend the meeting include the president of CTAC representatives from the Ministry of Education, director of tertiary education, principals of colleges of education, Prinkhoff, Director General of the Ghana Tertiary Education and the Head of the Public Financial Management Unit. And that's all for today. For more updates, please log on to our website at www.ghanatalksradio.com. I am Deborah Adolso. Thanks for staying tuned.